All right, you guys. We're going to be modeling functions here. Um, and eventually work to some equations to the simplest type of functions. But there's something you need to know about functions. You need to know the difference between an independent variable and a dependent variable. The input is the independent variable. The output is the dependent variable. All right. And that means the value of the dependent variable depends or is a result of what you plug in for the independent variable. All right. Um, identifying dependent and independent variables in each situation. In the winter, more electricity is used out when the outside temperature goes down, and less is used when the outside temperature rises. So you can't change the temperature by using more electricity, but the temperature causes you to use more electricity. So the amount of electricity depends on the temperature. Right? So your dependent variable is amount of electricity and that depends on the temperature. Alright. The cost of shipping a package is based on weight. Right? Paying more money doesn't make the package weigh more. But if the package weighs more, it causes you to pay more money. Alright. The cost depends on weight. Alright. Dependent is cost, and it depends on weight. Faster Tom walks, quicker he gets home. The time depends on the speed. Dependent is time it takes to get home, right? And independent is speed that he walks. Give a situation where time is dependent on something else. Um, well, time spent driving. How's that? Time spent driving is dependent on speed. If I drive faster, I'm not going to spend less time in the car. Alright. How do you explain, how do you know the amount of electricity used is not a dependent variable? Alright. Because, well, if I use electricity, using electricity, electricity doesn't change the temperature. I think we're going to keep going here. That has been ooh, three minutes. Let's try and move on here. All right. So, applying function notation. This is kind of important. Function notation. All right. Let's see what it is. Okay. If x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable, and that's how it is all the time, you can use function notation to write y equals f of x. Red y equals f of x, where f names the function. When a function in two variables describes a function, you can always use function notation to write it. So I can say y is a function of x, right? I could say y equals f of x. Let's go down and do one. You ready? Amanda babysits and charges five per hour. All right. The amount amount of money is five times the number of hours. We can see it here, right? One hour is five bucks, two hours ten bucks, three hours fifteen bucks. An algebraic expression uh, expression that defines a function is a function rule. <coughs> We're going to write an equation using two styles, right? So we could say y equals five times x, right? We can say that. That's probably how you're used to saying it. If I plug in one, right? One times five is five. I plug in 2, 2 times 5 is 10, but we can also do this. We can say a function of the input of x 
is equal to 5 times x. All right. So can y be used instead of f of x notation? Well, you know what? Can y be used instead of f of x notation? Ah, not really. No. All right. Um, if so, tell us if not, give an example of function notation not written. Well, you know what? Function notation. Function notation just requires f of x. It, it demands that you do it. All right, I think we're halfway done. And so far, we haven't spent a whole lot of time, but we're getting to the word problems. So I'm going to pause here and um, save this one.